All right, fifth grade, today we are finishing up our snowman project. Last time we painted our snowman with a value scale on his head and his body. And then we also used either hot or cold colors to create this watercolor background. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut out our snowman. And you want to keep this all as one piece. So I'm going to stop where his head meets the body and then continue cutting around his head. <clears throat> and I am cutting right on my painted line. So try not to leave blue paper like this. Make sure you're cutting right on that painted line or even just a little bit off so it's a nice clean edge. All right, so here is my snowman body. <clears throat> so now on your background, since we put salt on this last time, you can see this kind of like sparkly texture the salt made when it dried. Um, you probably still have some salt on here. So before you glue your snowman to your background, you're probably gonna need to just brush off some of that salt. Now I'm going to use my liquid glue and glue my snowman to my background. So since this is a pretty big piece of paper and this is a painted paper, it's going to have a little bit of a harder time sticking to the watercolor background. So make sure you are putting glue around the edge like this and not just in the middle. So. Be conscious of that because if you don't have enough glue on here, it's not gonna stick down as well. And just like I said, it's painted paper, so the edges are kind of curling up a little bit. So I'm just gonna hold it for a few seconds like this, kind of let that glue grab onto the watercolor background. Then I'm gonna flip it over and smooth it out on the back. All right, so now I've got some scraps of black paper and scraps of orange paper. So we're gonna use this to start making the hat and the face on our snowman. And then later we'll use some other colors for things like the scarf and any other details you wanna add. So first thing I'm gonna do is create his hat. So I'm gonna get a scrap black piece of paper um, and I'm gonna draw this in a white crayon so you can see it on the screen, but you guys can use a pencil in case you need to erase. So I'm just gonna kind of measure where I want my hat to go on my snowman. So I'm gonna start with two lines in. And um, this is overlapping over my snowman head right now because I want it to look like it's actually sitting on his head. And then get two lines up. This kind of starts where the edge of his head is. And then straight line across. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. So there's my snowman hat. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that onto his head. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the scraps of paper that I have left over from the hat and start cutting his eyes and his mouth. Um, so for his coal eyes, you can just kind of cut like a irregular circle shape. It does, we don't actually want it to be a perfect circle because we want this to look like coal. So if it's kind of like bumpy and not a perfect circle, that's actually better. And then I can do the same thing for his mouth. So I could probably do one, two. And these I'm gonna do a little bit smaller um, so that I can fit more on there. So 
So I wanna show you something really quick before I glue these down. If you want a different type of eye, like if you want it to look like your snowman is smiling, you could do this kind of eye instead. So I'll just show you two of those. So if you want his eyes like closed or you could have one eye closed and one eye open, um, you don't have to do just the regular coal eyes. So you could do something like that instead if you want. So then for his nose, um, <clears throat> you should have some rectangles of orange paper like this. So um, you don't want his nose to be too wide of a triangle. So what I am gonna do is go ahead and fold this in half. Okay, so in half the hot dog way. And then on the folded edge, so kind of like you're cutting a heart out of paper, I'm gonna cut a diagonal line from the bottom short side up to the longer point. Okay, so then I'm gonna open it up and check. Okay, so um, I feel like for me, I kind of want a thinner triangle, so I'm gonna trim off a little bit. Like that, okay, so I feel like that's better. And then you can also use your scraps, your black scraps of paper to make coal buttons if you want. So before I start gluing this down, I'm gonna find a brown or a black crayon, um, or you could use a brown or black oil pastel. <clears throat> and I'm gonna draw some contour lines on my carrot nose. So this just will help make it look more like it's a rounded carrot instead of just like a flat triangle. So I'm just gonna kind of start on the sides and make some short curved lines just to make it look like it has some carrot texture. So this is important that you do this before you glue it on. If you glue it on first, you might accidentally draw on your snowman. You don't want to do that on accident. So make sure you do this before you put it on with glue. <clears throat> So now I'm gonna start gluing down his face before I add other details. So I know it's not really realistic, but I just thought it'd be kind of cute to add a little highlight to his eyes. So now I'm gonna flip it over and smooth everything out. All right, so I have some other scraps of paper here um, and that we can use to make the details like the scarf or like a band on the hat. Um, so I would like to add a scarf to, sn to my snowman. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get a scrap of paper that I see will fit across the neck. So I don't want to use something too small, obviously. So I don't wanna cut this and then realize that it's way too small for my snowman. I wanna double check that it's actually gonna fit across his neck. So then just like with the hat, I am going to measure this first. So put it on your snowman and then I am going to use my pencil, um, in my case a crayon, and I'm going to kind of sketch out where his head would be. So that's telling me that that's gonna be the top of my scarf. And then I can add the sides and the bottom of my scarf. So this is gonna be the first layer of my scarf. So then for the little piece that hangs down, I'm gonna kind of measure, make sure it's long enough, cut a little rectangle like that. So I think on mine, I want two of these, but you could just have one if you want. You could also taper them. So if you don't want a rectangle, you could kind of make it like a triangle. Okay, and then on the end, I'm gonna add some fringe. So just using your scissors, cut little short lines, just like this. 
all the way across and you can kind of like bend them up so that they show. All right, so when you are finished with your snowman today, you can clean up your area and put your artwork on the drying rack.